Warmer weather means warmer water, whether you're at the beach, maybe the lake. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. But warmer water can spell trouble for you as it uh, can serve as a breeding ground for bacteria. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprache is digging deeper into how you can keep yourself safe. If you take this infrared thermometer and aim it at the ground, you'll get a pretty accurate reading of just how hot the ground is right now. We're talking 97 degrees. But if you aim it at the water, you're going to get a false reading because what it's doing is it's looking at the ambient reflected heat. You could also go online and see exactly what the water temperature at the lake is. The U.S. Geological Survey monitors both Jordan and Falls Lake for many factors, including temperature. And Falls Lake feels hot like bath water warm. Just how warm? Well, the USGS website says the water temperature at Falls Lake on Wednesday reached over 94 degrees. That seemed incredible, so I went to the lake to investigate. The Army Corps of Engineers supervisor at the lake told me the temperature is not that high, saying this sensor which measures water temperature is broken and needs to be replaced. Does it feel warmer than usual when you get in? It does a little bit, but I just figured that's because the sun's been shining on it for a little while. But no matter what the temperature is, warmer water can encourage the growth of dangerous organisms. You get all at all concerned about any kind of bacteria that would grow on the warmer water? I do. I was just telling my daughter not to swallow any water. <laughs> there are also other precautions you should take before entering the water. Because shaving, uh, whether you're a male or female, produces micro cuts and that could be an entry point for a pathogen. You should also take care not to ingest the spray from a personal watercraft or boat. If you have uh, a loved one that's prone to either ear infections or, or nose or sinus infections to, to wear a nose plugs or ear plugs. It's also not a bad idea to shower after you've been in the lake to remove any potential pathogens. Since both Falls and Jordan Lakes are public water supplies, they're monitored by the state for both water quality as well as pollution. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher.